Hello, so uh, I want to explain to you the different kind of wallets and the different kind of chain. Now, if you are very new to cryptocurrency, uh, crypto trading or the, new to the crypto space, it's very important to know the different networks and different kind of wallets that you can use. Now, um, when it comes to wallets, we have different kind of wallets. And we have custodial, we have non-custodial, we have hardware, we have paper wallets. Now, custodial means that you don't have um, you don't have complete control of your funds. That means there is like for example now exchanges run a custodial kind of wallet. It means that you can log in with your password, email and password. Uh, let's, let me show you now. Like Celsius wallet, for example, as you can see here, so Celsius wallet here is a custodial wallet. It means that if you misplace your, you can always contact customer support to help you support you if you have any challenges. Then in non-custodial wallet, for example, like in non-custodial, for example, Trust Wallet, MetaMask, SafePal. Coin ninety eight, for example, these are even Jewel wallet and onto wallet. These are um, non custodial in in the sense that you need like a pass phrase, like a recovery phrase. You need a pass phrase to create your own wallet. It means that your funds are in your hands. If you expose a recovery phrase to anyone they can easily hack your account and those that made the wallet will not be able to help you because even them cannot access your wallet that means non-custodial those uh, non-custodial means that those that made the wallet have no custody of your tokens only you that owns the wallet have custody and you can always re-enter like for every time if you want to open all you have to do is just load your recovery freeze in another uh, maybe you install that same kind of wallet and load the recovery phrase and then your wallet will be in again now in that in this between um, in non uh, most non custodial wallets are usually multi chain like for example now trust wallet safe bow coin 98 Jew wallet uh, token pocket they are usually uh, multi-chain in the sense that they can you can send tokens from different networks what do i mean by different networks for example now erc20 means that um means that the that token is uh, built on ethereum network bep20 means binance smart chain bep2 means binance chain you know, there's different, there's different between Binance Chain and the Binance Smart Chain. Then when you have, um, you don't have all that network. TRC20 means built on the Tron network. Now, if you make a mistake sending um, one token to a different network, you have high chances of you losing your, to uh, of your, your token. Unless you're sending your tokens to a multi-chain a wallet that doesn't like for example now on trust wallet now your everything is integrated there and it has a central address so the chances of likelihood of your funds um, of you losing your funds is m reduced because of that central address so it means that the the wallet might automatically just shift it just you see mistakenly sent BEP20 instead of ERC20, so to just send it to the network is supposed to go to because it's a multi chain um, wallet. But it's, it's better to stay safe by making sure that you are sending you check because if you take, for example, you're withdrawing from an exchange, like for example, let's just say you're withdrawing from um, you're withdrawing for Binance, for example. Let's say, for example, you withdraw for Binance, for example. Let's just say you want to withdraw. You want to withdraw VET. You just go to VET, click withdrawal. 
and then you place your address now look at the network, the network is reaching uh let's say i don't know if this is going to work because i'm not using the actual address now look at it now these are different networks you select bep2 bep20 xrp network these are different networks so you're saying that you're withdrawing they're asking you which network are you withdrawing this xrp to so you have to be very sure whether you're going to a bp2 network a bp20 network or srp network now different um tokens have their network it means with where these tokens were built on now majority of most tokens are built on it, it either built on ethereum binance smart chain or if they have their own blockchain if they have their own blockchain like matic does polygon polygon xrp it means that they also have their own network so some tokens are also multi chains like they have bp2 they have erc20 they also have their own network so you have to be sure where you are sending it to now like i said not consider wallet like trust wallet uh safe power and the rest are usually multi-chain it means that you can um store tokens from different networks on it just make sure that you're sending the token to it so if you're going to send um uh, usdt for example you have to be sure that that the recipient wallet is come here uh, is uh in consonance like it's the same thing with where you're sending it from for example now if the recipient wallet is erc20 it means that you have to select erc20 from wherever you're sending the usdt from and it means that it, the usdt you want to send you're sending it to um an ethereum network if you're selecting trc20 make sure that the recipient wallet is trc20 so that you don't lose your phones so the point here is each of these things bp20 erc20 uh, TR, uh trc20 omni network they are all different networks mean sh showcasing their different blockchain like which blockchain is that token built on but now some tokens are already multi-chains like they can have they can exist on different networks but they are not different they are not the same addresses if you check sometimes the addresses are not the same they don't look the same so when you see a particular network it shows you that that token was either is either compatible to the network or was built on that network so that's the difference between all these things then other kind of wallets we have is a um, hardware wallet uh, they look like flash drives and then we also have um, paper wallet so i believe this was explicit enough thank you